Ladies and gentlemen, we are operating a very busy flight back to Dublin this morning. It's Captain speaking. Very welcome to Dublin. Are you here for the week? Just the day, like. Oh. What is the? We just landed into Dublin. You know, come from Paris. Wanted to kind of understand the the vibe here in Ireland. This is our year. It has to be our year. We believe this time. We have to believe. Awesome to be joined by Gordon Darcy in the middle of Dublin. Thanks for giving up some time, mate. Um, Leinster and Irish legend, 257 Leinster games, I think. Yeah, something around that. Um, which is the second most of anyone that's played at the club. Uh, 87 tests for Ireland and a couple of uh, British and Irish Lions tours. Yeah. Is that pretty good? Was That's a bit right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thanks, mate. <laughs> At least one of us made an effort today. I, just, I, I got the dress code completely wrong. <laughs> oh, mate, you look fantastic. Um, <laughs> just cruising around Dublin today, even I can feel like a real energy building in the city. There's a real sense of uh, anticipation uh, in this tournament at the moment, and Irish people are extremely prone to extremes. <laughs> We really like, we're the worst team in the world or we're the best team in the world. And it just happens that that seems to be marrying on and off the pitch at the, at, at the moment. When the teams will come out on Friday, people will start going, they'll start getting a little bit more nervous. Now that's complete, that's off the pitch, on the field, in that group, in that environment. There's an incredible belief there. Genuinely, no one knows who's going to win this game. No, there's nothing in it. There really isn't, isn't anything it in it. Yeah, three points either way. But there's more danger individually with the All Blacks. But Ireland as a collective, you look at some of the team tries they're scoring, um, and they are team tries as opposed to maybe moments of Mackenzie magic against Uruguay last yeah. week. You know, I think that is, that's the battle really there, isn't it? People are sort of starting to talk about this as one of the, one of the biggest games in, in Irish, and, and maybe even New Zealand history. Is it's that how you see it? 100%. So when we won the um, series in New Zealand last summer, Everybody was like, oh, you know, we still haven't won a World Cup and everything. It's like, we're the fifth team ever to win a series in New Zealand. That will potentially out, out, you know, outstrip, a, outstrip a, a World Cup. Um, you enjoy success when you have it. This game, it's so cruel that it's in a quarterfinal. But this is a, like, it's a defining game for both teams. May and the best team win. Absolutely. <laughs> G'day Dave. Welcome, mate. How, How are, are you, you, mate? No, welcome to Dublin, mate. Yeah, How thank are you? you, thank you. Yeah, I'm great. Um, thanks so much for giving up some of your time. No um, I'm only here for a few hours, but I really wanted to kind of land in Dublin and start understanding the, the, the buzz. Yeah, the buzz of, of this weekend's game. Sweet. Is right. this for me? Yeah, that's for you, mate. Oh, thanks, right. mate. We're going to play split the G here. So, first sip has to land in between the G on that button. Oh, okay. Here we go. And that is an expert drinker right there. Welcome to Dublin, baby. I think, you know, they've been building over the last while. I think when they came back with the Grand Slam uh, in the lead up to the, the, the World Cup was huge for the team. Um, I think they've been slowly kind of like the warm ups, they probably weren't playing their best rugby, but that South Africa game was huge. There's no illusions about the test that they have against the ABs. Uh, obviously, they're another sensational team, but. Um, Confident and really looking forward to what's going to be an amazing game. Do you know, even you know the fans and over over in Paris, the last couple of games they've been absolutely incredible. So I think they'll look at that as a bit of an advantage. Um, I think there was rumour to be sixty thousand Irish over in that in the last game <laughs> against Scotland. What will they be saying about the All Blacks in their in their camp? I think look, I think we definitely respect the All Blacks massively. Um, I know it's been pretty much tit for tat. I think in the last eight games, Ireland won five. So for, from an Irish perspective, they know it's going to be a huge challenge. There'll be no sniff of complacency, and they're looking just to make a bit of history and take another step. Yeah, I, th I feel like the Kiwis and the Irish. Uh, we get on good. Yeah, so you, you wouldn't mind if New Zealand won? I would. <laughs> it's going to be pretty close. Pretty close. I think Ireland will win. Oh, we're number one in the world, huh? <laughs> Are we not? People will be so paranoid going to, 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 to um, Paris because they've been to so many matches where Ireland have come unstuck at the, at the state. So that'll be what the paranoia comes into it. And people are always saying to me now, oh, don't, don't, don't let us be favourites, Brendan. <laughs> I said at some stage. Like no, I said at some stage you've got to live with the favourites tag. Yeah. You know, okay. it's always been the fight in Irish, and the Irish actually admire that about New Zealanders too. You know, the Kiwis of you know James Lowe and all these uh, the, the, the good boys. You yeah, know, yeah. they get on great. They love they love playing over here in Leinster yeah, because 
Ireland's afforded them a chance. Yeah. Could I have a chat to you about rugby? Of course, yeah. Do you know that there's a there's a game on this weekend? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you um we just we just My wife's cousin is married to Johnny Sexton. You're joking. No. Awesome. Cheers mate. Bye, have a good day. Good luck on Saturday. <laughs> I can sense the Irish um, thinking, yep, yeah, we're going to take it to them. We're going to uh, we're going to really beat them, and they obviously have before in the past. So, you know, you can't shy away from the fact that they are a really good team. But I, it's word on the street that the pressure can come on um, in these big moments in these big games, and it's quarterfinals. It's a rugby world cup. What do you? How do you think they're going to handle that, Andy? Gee, when the pressure comes right on. Um and it's, it's, it will come down to little moments, like you know, in those, in those big games. Both of you have played in big finals, and um, you touched on little moments in finals. What else is important when you come to finals footy? Nail your role, nail your job. Be really, really world class at your job, whatever that is. If everyone does that, their jobs well. At some point, some moment, but a magic will happen, and, and that can be the difference. Have to be clinical, eh? Like, I know for us in our environment, when it comes to those moments, it's about, as you said, staying the same. It's about still having fun. Like, you've got to enjoy your rugby. And when it comes time where you do make mistakes, it's, you know, no one's perfect. It, it's about rallying around each other, getting behind each other's backs, celebrating the tries when they're there, but also picking your mate up when, you know, things don't go their way because it's going to be tough. I, I sense it's going to be such a close game. Um, it's going to be down to the wire. Um, but yeah, it is about staying present in the moment. That's the front row, but battle going to go. <laughs> from, oh, probably be one of the best ones of the year. You have really? Your, yeah. Good front row from, from All Blacks, good front row from, from Ireland, and um, yeah, Ireland scrum are looking dangerous as well, so um, I'm, I'm looking forward to watching that, and as a fellow front row, get up the All Blacks, but... Um, that's a safe front row. Yeah, yeah that's a safe. Push, push hard, I won't go too much detail, because I can talk for ages, but <laughs> thank you for joining us on uh, the front row show today. It's been a pleasure. Um, enjoy the quarterfinals week and uh, the build up to it. And uh, up the ABs. <laughs> At the beautiful Sacre Coeur Basilica, an Irish rugby fan had come to pray. Neil, big game this weekend. How are you feeling about it? We're ready. Uh, we're number one in the world and we're playing like a. He's confident, all right. Well, time to hit Neil with a hot take. You've got that Johnny Sexton double round move. To me, it feels like obstruction. Your thoughts? No, Saxon can't do anything wrong. <laughs> he's, a, he's our god. No, he's world class and he's showing it even at the age of like 38. Well, here's another 38 year old, former Pumas centre Gonzalo Tiesi, who retired nine years ago. For me to call against the All Blacks, uh, it's, it's very difficult. So, although Ireland in, are in a very good shape and, and they have a good chance, I think the All Blacks will win. We found two Italian fans who weren't in Paris for the rugby. We prefer football, yeah. We yeah. follow football matches more than rugby. Dai Roma, dai, direi. We are from that? Rome. That so. means go Roma, go. Well, even football fans can expect to see plenty of kicking. The kicking game has been very important. The way you compete in the air, coming the knockout stages, quarter semi-finals, teams will start to play a little bit more territory, and, and whoever wins the battle, the set piece, uh, the physical battle, I mean, will have a very good chance. Great analysis, really. But let's talk Totti. Francesco Totti. Francesco Totti, yeah, brilliant. Number 10, yeah. he's the best. Uh, the Totti of uh, Ireland is Johnny Sexton. And then for us, it's Richie Moonga, so okay. it's Daye Moonga. Yeah, yeah, Daye means go. You're oh, yeah. like, kind of, you're the best. So can you say Daye Moonga? Yeah, you can say that. Daye Moonga. <laughs> That's it. They are from Le Grand Beret Platoon. So New Zealand versus Ireland, you, who will you be supporting? Oh, New Zealand. like. New Zealand, at all costs. Over in Ireland, rugby's on a high. Well, it seems to be the only sport we're actually quite good at, um, <laughs> being number one in the world. Um, no, the interest is just going skyrocketing. Mm. Like, the whole country's talking about it. Yeah, it's a long way to the top. Just down the road is Pearl Cemetery. Cemetery. I paid my respects to Jim Morrison, hoping that the All Blacks can break on through to the other side. Fans have left gifts and chewing gum on a tree. Not bad. Then we visited the great Irish writer Oscar Wilde, who famously said, be yourself, everyone else is already taken. Great advice for the All Blacks this weekend. James McConey, crowd loves Wilde. And NZR Plus. Front row show.
We've got the one and only Ollie Ritchie. Ollie, how are you, Brass? Good, bro. How are you, Georgie? No, very good, very good. Um, so, you know, I've uh, admired your work over the past couple of years, and um, as you can see, I'm on the mic mm. now. So, do you have any tips for, for Andy or anything that, mm, you know, any yeah. areas that he can get better in? Yeah, look, I mean, let me just go through this notepad <laughs> here. Andy, these, oh, are my no, these are my notes on Andy. There it is. Oh, more. Oh, okay, more. Oh, more. Is, oh it's more. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, yeah, it's never ending, really. Oh, okay. But look, if I was to say one thing to Andy, <laughs> more niggle. Be the Dane Coles of the media oh. pack. We're at a World Cup. Um, we're playing in a final and it's all on the line and yeah, history's history and history's going to get created on Saturday. The boys are ready to go, watch them flow, Chahu. everyone's looking locked in, mm. boys are doing the extras, working on breakdown, skills, skill set's good, really start to feel the excitement build up man. Ireland versus New Zealand, um, so much hype around it and yep, me, I just stayed in my little seat, didn't ask any questions because didn't want to put the boys off and everyone looks so locked in so I'm looking forward to this week man and everyone's just, uh, even watching them train today you can see everyone was just dialed in, everyone was just focused and skills were crisp and bro, so I'm ready to go to war, <laughs> put me on the field, get me on the field with my broken knee but yeah, we're on, we're on. Press conference done. Let's go. <laughs>